Hey friends. Oh my gosh. Um, wanted to come on here and do this quick video. In spite of having this giant cold sore, normally I would not go live during these times. But here's my update. We had another incident with mold. Then we had a wildfire that happened just a few miles from our house um, and it exploded to over 7,000 acres in less than 24 hours due to high winds, low humidity, and high temperature. So everyone that is experiencing this out west right now, I totally understand. This just happened to us on Friday and um, I know you heard in my uh, video the other day that mm, we have so many planes going over now because they're checking on the fire and you know what a mess it's so sad anyway um not, i'm forgetting my normal thing say hi type live if you're here live type where you're at uh type an emoji whatever you want to type that'll help me get this higher in the algorithm um give me the hearts <laughs> facebook actually favors videos and posts that have hearts and likes and comments so please help me out getting the word out because the media is not doing their job the media is bought out and corrupt and all they spew is propaganda so here's the thing i just want to give you guys some warning that this is going to get worse there's a lot of things that could happen I, I don't know specific details but i know enough from having been studying agenda 21 Davos, New World Order, Q, I know enough to know things are not going to get better soon. And if I had kids in school, I would take my kids out of school. Um, the CDC just announced that they have plans in place to keep kids overnight if needed, quote unquote. Um, personally, as a parent, I wouldn't be okay with that. And I feel like in these very tumultuous times, we are experiencing what is known as an insurgency. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Um, but it's crazy when I go online and I talk about this stuff because I'm like, I cannot believe that I am saying this out loud because I've literally been learning about this for 10 to 20 years. And I always kind of discounted it as kind of far out there and I would hear people talk about this stuff and I would just think oh that's crazy that's conspiracy theory <laughs> but ah uh, this cold sore hurts <laughs> I got this cold sore because I got exposed to mold again and all of the stress and all of the smoke and fires we've had here oh my gosh anyway I gotta stay focused for you guys because I want you to prepare okay so my warning is if you have kids in school take them out of school it's not gonna hurt them I've homeschooled my kids for almost 10 years now what will hurt them is the emotional trauma. There is something called MK Ultra, which is a mind control um, that was developed by Nazis, also used by the CIA. Um, this is dark, it's deep, it's insane what they can do through abuse. And I believe that this is what's happening to our country on a massive scale right now. Because think about the trauma that fire causes. Think about the trauma of not knowing if it's safe for you to walk down your street or if you're gonna get beaten because of the way you look or what you believe. The times right now are scary. And we're hearing a lot of echo chamber media stuff, right? And people blaming Trump. There's a reason that they're blaming Trump, you guys. Agenda 21, New World Order, please, 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 please learn about it so that you can understand what is going on. So that you can see the agenda that the media is trying to play out right before our eyes. That the corrupt politicians are part of. This is the deep state. This is Agenda 21, also known as Rockefeller Lockstep. You guys, I feel insane for saying this out loud and saying this with so much passion. I almost feel like I could cry. I am that um, worked up about this and I want you to be awake to it too. And um, a couple of resources I use are InfoWars and X22 Report on YouTube, Band.Video also is InfoWars, um, um, David Reinhardt on Facebook, I'm just trying to go through all my resources for you. The reason I want this info out for you is you have to do your own research. Q is about you researching for yourself. Q and on, I know they're smearing it in the media, but it's about you doing your own research. It's not about 
uh, creating some kind of cult or aggressive group of people. It's literally you being a critical thinker and digging in. Like Q will give you information and ask you questions, you go find the answers. That's what it is, that's all it is, okay? So when you see it in the media, they're gonna try and smear it because it's pointing to the truth. Think about it. Okay, second piece of warning. Are you prepared? Who Who is a prepper? Comment below, I'm a prepper if you are. Um, here's what I advise. You get your guns because it's the second amendment. You get your ammo, you might have to go daily to the local store to buy it because it's sold out nationwide. You get your food stored up, you need food that um, can uh, be shelf stable, right? You get your water, a water filter, Berkey filter, life straws. You get yourself prepared. You can live for more than three days without food, right? But you can only live three days without water. Okay, that was my warning. That's what I wanted to share. Now, um, if my phone dies, I'm gonna be all right with it. So, are you guys a prepper? Are you prepared? Do you think this is crazy? Do you think this is far out there and insane and what is wrong with Elise? She's lost her mind. Um, sometimes I ask myself that. Actually, I ask myself that daily because these times, they're so insane, but everything is playing out like they've written. You guys, they've written this out for you. It's already on the Lockstep website. It's in the NWO website. 179 countries joined NWO um, in 1992. Trump left and now he is saying that if America falls, the world falls. Why? Because we are not part of NWO. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go to my YouTube channel, EliseTV.com. You can type that in the comments, EliseTV.com. On my website, I have a video about Davos. Luckily, they haven't censored it yet. All my other videos are being censored daily. Daily! Okay? We know we're onto something when we get censored every single day. Please click the share button on this video. Please comment. Please tap the heart button. Um, if you catch the replay, type replay. If you watch the end, please type watch to the end. I don't know. I mean, I'm like shaking. There's just so much information that you guys need to connect the dots on and if you haven't already. And um, I just want everyone to have the resources and the ability to find the answers for themselves. These times are absolutely insane because we are standing in the balance here. Um, like I said, Trump left the H um, WHO. He left the I can't even remember all the things he's left now. That's <laughs> like spacing out. But um, if you guys know, comment below. You guys know because you guys have been researching this. But he's basically leaving. And he kicked out the Chinese Communist Party from the United States in terms of owning real estate and businesses here. Did you know that? Um, also, there are reports. I have people doing research on 8chan and 4chan, which is the dark web. Um, looking for confirmation on this, but there are reports of Chinese communist military on the border of Canada. And if you look at the map of where the fires are burning, they're not burning in Mexico and Canada. Wouldn't those countries be affected by climate change? Also notice this, you're gonna start seeing these politicians in these states. I saw it from Gavin Newsom and Kate Brown today. Both of them saying, oh, this is due to climate change. I call BS. I call BS because we are seeing reports that this is arson and started by people. And we also know that there is uh, patents on weather technology called geoengineering. We also know that there is patents for the chemtrails that they do. Um, they're trying to block out the sun, they say, with al aluminum. I mean, come on, you guys, this is insanity, but it's happening. This is really happening, okay? Um, so I just want to open your eyes to some things, to yes, the pushing the green deal, absolutely. We know who was, in, who was pushing that big time was Al Gore. You guys, you can uh, tie a lot of the stuff back over to China, actually, um, because I believe that these corrupt politicians, also known as the deep state, it's an international organization of people that have a very evil um, goals and they are doing very evil things including child trafficking because that's probably the biggest money making industry in um, the underworld let's call it and you're going to notice too these explosions and fires that are happening internationally uh, Beirut blew up again um, just today one of their ports uh, Luckily, Trump kicked China out of owning one of the ports down in LA recently, and um, but China does own the port out of um, Victoria, I think, in BC. 
it's dark and deep, you guys, it's dark and deep because the 16 year plan, the prior presidencies were all part of this new world order group. So they were pandering to China. They were giving our jobs to China. They were like the, so much corruption. And this tie, the ties to the trafficking, drugs and children um, goes hand in hand with all of it because this is where they get funding. Now they're getting funding through BLM. There, I said it. But if you had clicked the BLM Donate Now links, you would see that it goes straight to Act Blue, and Act Blue supports all the Democrat candidates, corrupt candidates, let's say. I'm sure there's good Democrats out there. You might be one of them if you're watching this, and you might be shocked as shit, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, because this is shocking and hard to believe. It took my husband a few years to uh, say, oh my gosh, you are right. And um, it's these are shocking times so what do we do we get educated we talk about it we speak up and the more of us that speak up they can't shut us all down okay so that's my other um invitation to anyone watching is start speaking up about this get educated and speak up about it and again one of my favorite educational references is the x22 report on youtube david the host he interprets the q drops the q drops are from the highest level of intel and security around the president um, watch the live press briefings don't watch the media clips because they always chunk it up and manipulate it and you know that's that's not getting the true report so the lighting is getting weird, but hey, everyone who made it to the end, type end if you did. Um, I think that there's many of you on here that are already learning about this info or you're ready for this info because we have 